Hello. Let's talk about possible pitfalls in setting up a motion band in your analysis. The main issue that you can have is when your initial position, translation limits, or geometry intersect with the band. First, let's introduce an important tool in diagnosing potential issues. The measure tool can be used when selecting multiple edges to determine the minimum distance between points. I'll measure both the top and bottom distances to help determine the positive and negative translation limits. And the top of the anchor is two millimeters away from the top of the band. And the bottom of the anchor is five millimeters away from the bottom of the band. Right now, the translation limit is set as zero, but can go as far as two millimeters. The positive limit is set as 4.9 millimeters, but can go as far as five millimeters. Let's look at what happens when we exceed that limit. Immediately we see that there is no immediate problem, uh, no errors pop up, which might indicate that we've set things up correctly, but when running the setup, we'll notice an error pop up. Right here, positive motion limit is too large. That should indicate, as stated, that the motion setup for the translation limit is too large. Let's look at another type of error we could see. I attempted to set the initial position to negative two millimeters. The negative translation limit is zero millimeters. The initial position must be in between these stops. What I did there was increase the negative translation limit to four millimeters against the moving axis. This prevents the immediate check for the initial position to be in between these two points from failing. But note, my initial position is negative two millimeters, which will take us two millimeters away from our predefined moving vector, negative z. That takes us two millimeters up. So not only will we have our negative limit too high, but our initial position will coincide with the edge of the band. Let's see what that looks like. First, let's clear the messages so we can see the new error that pops up. Similarly, this will not pop up an immediate error, but we need to run the setup to see. The new error that we see, moving objects touch the stationary shell at initial position. This indicates that before motion, the moving object outlined here in blue touches the shell at the initial position. This can be deceptive because it appears that it is not touching the exterior edges. This is important because in a cylindrical symmetric model, the band of motion can coincide on one edge with the moving objects as long as that edge is the axis of symmetry. The error here is that the initial position takes the moving object two millimeters up and will collide with edge 69 right here. Let's undo these changes. Similar to the moving objects touch the stationary shell at initial position error due to the initial position, we can also have it simply due to the shape and size of the geometry. Let's take a look at our anchor. It is two millimeters wide, right here, whereas our band, and I'm making use of the measure tool again, is 2.5 millimeters wide. Let's see what happens if I make the anchor precisely the size of the band.
I run the setup to see if it works as expected or if we develop any new errors. The errors start from here. Moving object touch the stationary shell, similar to the above error, but lacking that at initial position. This should indicate that the error is not due to an initial position that we placed inside, but rather the geometry itself. Now recall, the moving objects are allowed to touch the band if that band edge is the axis of symmetry. This is only applicable for transient studies about the z-axis. It cannot touch the band at any of the other edges. These are the common errors that you might experience, and hopefully this video details how to avoid them.